Hey guys, welcome back to the video. I remember about a month, a month and a half ago, a report came out that James Wiseman could be made available this offseason. The Warriors said that if they received the right offer, then they would trade him. And now, lately, there's been some talks about the Houston Rockets even trading for him. Now, this hasn't been official or anything like the Rockets or Warriors haven't, of course, came out and said anything like that. But there has been talks, at least around like Rocket Twitter and stuff about potentially trading for James Wiseman. I remember James Wiseman turned 20 in March into seven feet tall, 240 pounds. The Rockets need a center, a legit seven footer. If they do go ahead and dra draft, uh, let's say like Jalen Suggs, Green, Cade, they still need a center. And there's some good centers. Dayron Sharp's a good center. I'm not sure where he ranks on the board, but... He's definitely a center that the Rockets could look to pick up. But, I mean, James Wiseman has all the potential in the world. He was the number two pick for a reason. A lot of people thought he should have been the number one pick. It's clear that he can ball at a high level. Does have injury concerns, was injured this season. A lot of seven-footers are going to have that, especially these young guys coming in the league. But there's no question that he has more potential than who the Rockets would be trading, and that's Christian Wood. Now, Christian Wood this season is turning 26, so James Wiseman is – essentially six years younger, which is a big deal. I mean, it's six years. Wood did average 21-10 and had a block. Wiseman averaged this season in 21 minutes, 12.6 rebounds and a block. Christian Wood did average two assists. Wiseman didn't, well, average just about one, a little bit under, it was like 0.9 or something like that. But Wood shot 51% from the field. Wiseman shot 52, so about the same, but remember Wood takes more threes. Wood 37 from three. Wood was shooting over 40% before his injury, so that could have been much better. And then again, Wiseman shot 32% from three. This isn't the trade, though. Now, in my opinion, a lot of people disagree, at least Rocket fans. I'd have to imagine, uh, if you're an NBA fan, please let me know. I mean, Christian Wood for James Wiseman, that's a fair trade. I'm not even sure if I would do this as a Rocket fan. If I'm a Warriors fan, I'm not sure if i do this as well. I mean, again, Wiseman's young. I don't see you getting anything better than Christian Wood. Now, Christian Wood's on a significantly cheap contract compared to other stars. Like, people putting up 21-10 with a block on 51% and 37 from three, is anyone even doing that in the league? I'm sure there's maybe Sabonis. There's probably not many, but those guys are going to be on big contracts, but Christian Wood is on a really cheap contract. Uh, I could show you guys. So Christian Wood contract. He should have been an all-star. Would have been if he hadn't gotten injured. So three-year, $41 million. Think of how cheap that is. To put that into perspective, Andrew Wiggins contract. Five-year, $147 million, guys. And Christian Wood's a better player. This isn't even the trade. Remember, Christian Wood, as great as he is, is for the Rockets moving forward and the present because he can help you win. You're getting more than just James Wiseman. I, I think alone James Wiseman for Wood, if they made that trade, I would I wouldn't be happy because we lost Christian Wood, but I'd be content. A 20-year-old, a guy that in a couple three months ago, or whatever, just turned 20 years old. The number two picks. You basically traded Christian Wood for the number two pick last year in last year's draft. James Wisen, a potential top four pick coming in. You have the 23rd and the 24th pick. I mean, how could anyone be upset about that? I like Christian Wood. I'm just not sure if he's a superstar yet. And again, I know that makes no sense because I made videos this season saying he is a superstar. There's times and flashes where he is, but a superstar, you've got to show up each and every game. And Christian Wood, he didn't do that. He didn't be aggressive every game. He didn't look for the ball. Part of it is because Silas doesn't have an actual offense or run plays or sets for him. But at the same time, you've got to show up every game. Like James Harden didn't take any games off. He was durable, but I'm not even talking about that. I'm just talking about like James Harden. If you don't count this season because against the Lakers, but even those games, I'm sure he had pretty good numbers. But just in general, like uh, James Harden, he showed up each and every game and put up numbers. I'm not trying to compare Christian Wood to James Harden. I'm just saying that was the last superstar the Rockets had. And then after that, it was probably Yao Ming. So Christian Wood, if he shows up every game, because 21 and 10, I mean, that's great. But Christian Wood, I think, can take an even larger step than that. I think he can average about 25 to 27, 12 rebounds a game, three to four assists, two blocks a game. If he can do that, that's a tall task. But, 
I mean, that's the type of player that Christian Wood definitely can be. And if he turns into that, then you don't want to trade him for James Wiseman, who is a complete uncertainty to this point. But you're also getting the Minnesota pick. Now, the reason why I don't understand this trade is because the Warriors said publicly that they'd only trade Wiseman or the Minnesota pick for a superstar player. And now they're going to trade both for Christian Wood. Minnesota or Wiseman, I think I'd rather have James Wiseman just because this Minnesota pick has a 37.2% chance at the top four. I mean, guys, this could fall to like eight and you're trading Christian Wood for the eighth pick. I mean, there's no way in hell that's going to happen unless we know it's a top four pick. I'd take a top four pick over James Wiseman because that way you're at minimum, you're guaranteed Jalen Suggs. So that would be cool. But both, I mean, Minnesota and James Wiseman, I mean, the, the crazy thing is, is that there's Rocket Ben saying that they would not do this. They would not take a top 10 pick. And James Wiseman, who just turned 20, 12, 6, and 21 minutes on a Warriors team, what's he going to do with the Rockets with Kevin Porter Jr., John Wall? I mean, this is a no-brainer. I wouldn't even think about it. If Raphael Stone would do this, he's getting a top 10 pick. Raphael Stone said himself the most luxurious asset in the league is draft picks. And he's getting James Wiseman, who, again, was just the second pick in the draft. There's no way Stone would not take this. So the reason why I have Tankathon pulled up is because I'm going to sim the lottery. So let's say the Houston Rockets just made this trade. They've gotten James Wiseman, and now they have, of course, the Minnesota pick. So let's find out what pick this actually is going to be. The seventh pick. Okay, so Houston Rockets just landed the third pick. Orlando takes Kate. Oklahoma City takes... You'd have to imagine they'd go Mobley. I mean, they have Moses Brown, but I think they would go mobile here. So the Houston Rockets just landed Jalen Green with the third pick in the draft. And now they have the seventh. Is it a top four or five pick? No, but it's the seventh pick. So who would the Rockets take? Let's find out. So we want to do this. So NBA mock draft one. All right. Again, this isn't a hundred percent how the draft would go, but okay. So Cade Mobley. Rockets take Green, Suggs, Kaminga, Scotty Barnes. James uh, Book Knight goes seventh. Would I want Moses Moody or Book Knight? I think I kind of would want... Davion Mitchell would be incredible, but Kevin Porter Jr. is on the roster. It wouldn't make sense. Jalen Johnson would be cool. I don't know if he's going to even go 11, though. I think Keon Johnson would be my pick. But James Book Knight is so good, though. At a UConn, of course, shout out to um, him representing UConn. I think you'd have to go book night here. So, I mean, Rockets, they do. They, no, if I was the Rockets, I think I would imagine getting Scotty Barnes. That'd be absurd. I, I think I would trade back and try to land. Why am I just finding out now that Kai Jones is 6'11"? I thought he was a point guard. Kai Jones would be good. <laughs> Uh, Zaire Williams, Corey, um, kiss really all the, like I would trade back to like this 12 to 14 range and take one of these guys. Cause the Rockets need size, but nonetheless, I mean, we can scout James book night. I, I just don't see how him green and Kevin Porter jr. Works on a basketball court. Do you just go for talent? I mean, the Rockets need talent, but they also need fit because you can't draft a guy in the top seven and bring him off the bench. I mean, I mean, you can, I guess, but I'd rather see him develop and be out there, make mistakes, things like that. So uh, let's click on him here. So what is he ranked? He's not ranked. So he's 12 on the big board and 7 on the mock. Regardless, I think you've you've got to go and try to get some size. I mean, you could address the size with pick 23 and 24, but still... Let me know your guys' thoughts. Who would you want them to draft as seven? I mean, you're not going to reach for one of these guys. I mean, is Kai Jones? He's ranked a 94, so let's see how NBA ready is he. He's a six, so he's not really NBA ready. He's 20, though, just turned 20 in January. Very athletic. He's got size because he's 6'11", 220 pounds. Defensively, is ranked an eight. The Rockets need defense. Nine quickness. Quick for a 6'11 guy. Jump shot is a nine. So Kai Jones can shoot the basketball if he has a nine. Potential is a nine. I mean, yeah, there's no question I'm trading back for Kai Jones. Rafael Stone, I think, would be – I'd imagine he'd be thinking the same. They need a center. They can get Kai Jones. 
And remember, when they trade back, they're also going to get something. It's not like they're obviously they're going to get something. They're trading the seventh pick for like the twelfth or fourteenth, so they're going to get something on top of that. I mean, it's a no brainer. That's what I would do. So would I do this trade? I mean, yes, I would. I wouldn't even think about it. But at the same time, I think I might consider trading Christian Wood for James Wiseman because the Rockets they're going to have to pay Christian Wood a max contract in two years. Wood is great. I'm just not sure if he can lead a team, if he could be that dude, if he like he, he needs talent around him, like James Harden and Russell Westbrook around Christian Wood would have meant made sense. But right now, with an regressing John Wall that might be bought out, Kevin Porter Jr. and Wood, I think is good. But I mean, the only way I'm keeping Christian Wood is if we get the first pick. I mean, I think Cade and his pick and roll ability with Wood would be unstoppable. But like Jalen Green. He's not known for his passing or his defense. Uh, I mean, I'd rather just develop him with James Wiseman, a 19 and a 20 year old. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Again, I know in my DeRozan video, I'm going to say like, I don't want to talk about Christian Wood trades and because he's the best player, things like that. But at the same time, if this is circulating, it just wouldn't make sense for me not to talk about this on the channel. So again, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. It's your boy, Swaggy. Uh, just for the hell of it, let's go back to Tankathon really quick. And let's sim the lottery. If the Timberwolves, well, if they get inside of their top three, then they keep their pick. So that actually makes no sense. So we actually we would want that. I mean, we we would want the the fourth pick. Yeah, we'd want the fourth pick. Rockets actually lose their pick, and then they get the seventh pick. Minnesota gets the third pick. Rockets get the fourth pick. That would be horrible. Five and eight. That would be that might be the worst possible. So what's the uh worst that the Minnesota can get? Is it eight or yeah, it looks like it's eight. So Minnesota has the eighth pick, which would go to us, and then we'd have the first pick. I mean, I would take this any day. I would easily take this. Cade and then the eighth pick. I mean, that they'd win the draft. That can happen to the magic as well. So one and four. Oh my goodness, guys. Cade Cunningham in the fourth pick. That's crazy. But if that happens, I mean, the Houston Rockets go from a 17-win team to uh, the best future in, in a snap of a finger. I mean, 23rd, 24th pick, Cade Cunningham. Orlando would go green here because they have Mo, uh, or they have uh, Bamba and Wendell. So they would go green here. Detroit would go... Detroit would go... They'd go Mobley here because Isaiah Stewart probably get a big next to him. And then Jalen Green would go four. And even regardless, I mean, let's say it goes like Cade and then Mobley, Green. I mean, okay, Jalen Suggs and Cade Cunningham. Would that work? Or would you go Kaminga? I think you have to go Kaminga because Suggs is going to need the ball. He could play off ball, but I think you would have to go Kaminga here just because Cade would run the one, KPG at the two, and then Kaminga at the three. Again, I'll, any day of the week, Kaminga has more upside than Suggs anyway. So, guys, I'm going to sign here. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Peace out. Later.